Hi artists and makers, I'm Amy and this channel is all about creativity. If you're a maker and you have some cool little thing you make and people compliment you on it whenever they see it and you've wondered how do people actually get their stuff into stores that sell it for them, stick with me today because I'm going to take you behind the scenes at Dallas Market Center to show you what the temps are. The temps are the temporary booths that people rent in order to sell their things, to wholesale them to stores and retailers all over the country. I'm going to go to the one at Dallas Market Center, but there are market centers all over the country, I'll talk about them in the video, where you can go, get a booth, sell your things to store owners all over the place. I think this is the third video I've done now on the Dallas Market Center and what happens behind those closed doors in the wholesale world, so I'll link the other two videos below. This will help you understand what happens in the to the trade only areas of the marketplace where, where people who manufacture or make things sell their things to store owners and retailers who end up selling it directly to the public. There are a lot of things about these temporary booths that may look familiar to you if you've done craft fairs or art shows and sold your things out of a booth that you rented for that show. A 10 by 10 booth space or increments of that are the kinds of things that you can rent and you may have done that before. There are differences in doing it at a wholesale trade show. One is that the booths are very expensive because the idea is that they are putting you in contact with lots and lots of buyers who will buy your, your merchandise while at wholesale, which is a half the price or so of retail, they're going to buy minimums of everything that they order. You get to set those minimums. And so instead of buying one picture frame, they'll have to buy 20 picture frames. And so each order you write is going to be for larger amounts than they would when you're selling retail to the public. So this is an investment. You have to be ready to be big enough to manufacture the items that get ordered and make your customers happy and get things to them on time. But if you're ready to take that step, this will give you a little bit of an idea what that looks like. Most wholesale markets divide their items into different types of categories. Each one's a little bit different, but they have categories of what type of merchandise you're selling and that helps the buyers to navigate their way through these huge markets and find the things that they're looking for in their store. Otherwise, it would just be like searching for a needle in a haystack. So what you'll need to do is research some of the shows you're considering attending, find out what their specific subcategories are and which one you think you would fit best into. And that's the category you'll apply for if you want to do the show. Now without further ado, let's get into the voiceover and look at the video. Okay, here we are approaching the World Trade Center, which is part of the Dallas Market Center complex. Don't worry, I'm not driving. It's a big building and parking is crazy during the market times. Here is the check-in area where exhibitors and buyers and guests have to show their credentials in order to get in. I highly recommend that you check the websites before you go to one of these places to make sure that you have everything you would need to get in and get a badge. They make it difficult to get in on purpose that is to protect the store owners and retailers so that everybody in the world can't just walk in here and start shopping. So make sure that you have what you need to be able to get in or you're gonna be disappointed when you get there. This is the atrium of the World Trade Center. There are trend displays and restaurants and coffee shops down here, but there are specific areas that are just for the temporaries. Since we're talking about temporaries today instead of the permanent showrooms, I'm going to take the escalators up to the 12th floor, which is where a lot of the temporary exhibits are set up, and we'll take a look at that. During the rest of the year, these are just big empty spaces, but when there are major markets going on, they set these up with temporary booths, and these booths are leased by manufacturers who do not keep a permanent showroom space year-round in the other parts of the building. So this is where people can come to find the people who are only set up during certain markets. As I said, these, these exhibit spaces are usually divided into different categories to help buyers find their way around and find what they're looking for. Here's a map of what is on this floor. It's a gift, in-demand, and fashion accessories on this floor in the gift temporaries. Sometimes carpet or often signage hanging down will show you which section you're in to help you keep it straight and figure out and find what you're looking for. Now some manufacturers will be exhibiting in more than one place and if you look in the directory you will see several different locations behind their name. And that's because sometimes uh, a manufacturer will be in a permanent showroom year round but then they'll also do the temporaries at the major markets where they can have a booth that's dedicated just completely to their own things. So we used to do this in Atlanta. We were in a children's showroom but I would do the temporaries either in the children's or the Made in USA or the general gift section 
in order to increase our exposure and have a booth where we could show all of our stuff instead of just some of our stuff, which would be in the permanent showroom. This is just a shot of a marketing opportunity that you can have if you are leasing a booth. They usually have some little areas set up that showcase certain products. You can pay extra to get some of your products showca showcased in a front area where a lot of buyers will walk by and most markets have some type of offering like this. Okay, now we're taking the escalator up to the 13th floor. In Dallas, this is where most of the apparel showrooms are on another portion of this floor, and so they have devoted this area for the temps that are apparel and fashion related. So on 13th floor, you'll find a whole lot of clothing and accessory items here. I just shot uh, pictures of several different booths so you could kind of see how people are setting up their booths. These are what you call hard walled booths and you can hang pictures or posters on them if you don't have merchandise going up the walls. Um, depending on what section you're in you have different types of booths and it's important for you to notice what type of booth you're going to have in your section. Here again is the map of this category and it has apparel and footwear. Now these shots are down on the 8th floor. These are the home temporaries, home and design. And they have them down on the 8th floor because it's closer to the showrooms that have furniture and home decor types of products. And so they try to get the categories in a place that makes sense as much as they can with the layout of the big building. These I wanted to show because I was just talking about hard walled booths, but in this section they have pipe and drape booths. And that's kind of a different setup. It's a, a curtain hanging on a pipe and if you have that type of booth, it's helpful to know what color the curtain's gonna be and how you're gonna set up your merchandise. Uh, these are pipe and drape. Even though it's the same market, it's still the Dallas Market Center temps, different sections can have different types. Here you can see exactly what the pipe and drape looks like. That's really how it looks when you come in and move your stuff in. And then you can decide if you wanna hang your own curtains to replace those curtains that they provide with something that's looks better with your stuff or to hang your stuff on the wall somehow. Okay, here we've moved over into the next building over, which is called the Trademark. This is the atrium area of the Trademark. It's the original building that was in Dallas before they built the big World Trade Center, and these two buildings are connected through several hallways. This is the atrium area. Most of the time it's a big open area, but during the large markets they set up the high-end temps here. These are called Luke's Design or Luke's gift, I believe, and this is a juried section. I'm gonna take just a minute to talk about what a juried section is. It means that you pay your money and you audition to get in uh, a special section that's usually got some kind of name that indicates that it's more boutique-y or high design or luxury or high-end. And sometimes these booths cost more money. Sometimes they're in a better location, have nicer carpet, or like in this case, they have hard-walled booths which are nicer than the pipe and drape. But you have to, when you apply, you have to show pictures of your merchandise and of your booth design so that they can see whether they think you will fit in with this uh, group and whether you're good enough to get in. If you're not, they will put you in your secondary choice, which would be a general section like general gift or home and design, or you have to list what your second or third choice is if you can't get into the first section that you want. And these booths are really fun to walk through to get inspiration. They usually are have things that are displayed really beautifully. These are the booths where people tend to spend more money on their booth and on all the stuff in it. And so it's a great place to look for a lot of ideas. I'm gonna show several more pictures of this section. I also wanna talk for a few minutes about cost and location. So the cost of doing one of these markets, I'm sure that's one of the questions people have. They tend to average between about $2,500 to $3,500 for a 10 by 10 booth, depending on what city your market's in and what section you're doing. Like I said, some sections are more expensive than others. And as far as what cities these can be found in, there are several of them around the United States. I will name off uh, some of the ones, some of the cities that have buildings dedicated to this type of uh, wholesale trade. They're usually called Merchandise Mart or something like that. The biggest one in the country for gift marks is in Atlanta. And there's also Chicago, Dallas, Denver, Los Angeles, Miami, New York, Minneapolis, High Point, North Carolina, San Francisco, and a huge furniture mart in Las Vegas. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that little glimpse behind the scenes at the Dallas Market Center. And if you are a creative who's considering trying to sell your stuff, I wish you all the best in that journey. If you're a creative who hasn't been doing all that much with your artwork or your crafty thing, I want to invite you to join my free five-day creativity reboot challenge. We'll just send you an email in your inbox every day for five days that will give you small actionable steps to encourage you to kind of get back on track as an artist and a creative. And I would love to encourage you and help you on that path. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.